baby. Now this is a little nocturnal primate and it is basically like a little monkey that comes out at night and watch how fast they move. They're very fast. They've got almost spring-loaded legs and they jump all over the place. Now it's going to hopefully jump to another tree for us. There we go. It's going to use these strong, strong legs to jump off to the next tree. And the reason why they jump from tree to tree is because they're looking for food. So these guys eat both insects as well as plant material. Now, when I say plant material, I'm talking about sap. Watch it jump. Did you see how far it jumped? Isn't that amazing? There it goes. It's very quick. There it goes again. <laughs> and they are super fast. And that's what makes them very difficult to film because they move too quickly and they make our cameraman's lives very, very difficult to follow. So that was super cool to see. You can see the little tail sticking out at the back. I'm going to try go back, although I think it might jump away from us but let's try Senzo can you see it there there we go that's better now we can at least have a clear view of it and like I said they, they'll eat plant sap so what they do is they bite the tree and in the tree because it's been bitten will produce a sugary substance and that substance is what these guys want to eat and so they'll bite it and then tomorrow night they come back to that tree and they come and feed off that sap that is on the tree and the long tail helps for them to be able to balance when they're jumping around and trying to sort of find their way and and to keep their balance when they try and land on the next tree and look at how long their back legs are with big muscles for their size so that they can jump there it goes it's coming back towards us now which is cool so its head is just sticking out from behind the tree and look how big their eyes are most of the nocturnal animals will have very very big eyes How cool is that, guys? It looks like a funny animal, doesn't it? It's got big ears, big eyes, and that's because it's out at night. So it needs to see and hear very well to be able to survive out here. Because lots of predators that will go after it, from owls to genets, which is like a small cat, and other small cats that are out here, even leopards, might try and grab them. But he's being a little shy, hiding behind there at the moment. Difficult to say if it's a female or a male. They're hard to sex because they are so small. We can't see it, which ones are which. There's no difference between the two. Mainly, you want to know what my favorite animal is? Well, my favorite animal is the two animals we saw just now, which are the leopards. I love leopards. They're my favorite, favorite, favorites. They are such beautiful animals, and they are so powerful and really are very clever, and they're able to hunt by themselves and look after themselves. Look how quickly it moves. Did you see how fast it moved? It jumps so fast. But our bush baby is busy jumping away and disappearing into the bush. And unfortunately, that's all we've got time for this afternoon. I hope that you had a really, really wonderful time with us this afternoon, that you learned a lot, and that you're going to go home and tell your parents all about the wild animals that you saw here in Africa, and that you will have a wonderful day at school today and for the rest of or the remainder of your day. And so from myself and Jamie and Senzo, it's been a pleasure, and we'll see you tomorrow on the Sunrise Safari.